200 kilometers so far and I know I shouldn't say this from the very first day but it's cold <laughs> we stopped at a gas station and we had our quick lunch now heading towards Lithuania we want to stay at Kaunas this night I think we have 250 kilometers more and we already filled out passenger locator form Hope everything goes smooth in the border. today we can make it but we don't want to because it's raining it's not nice and there is another town called Parnu I don't know if I pronounce it correctly but we want to go there and stay overnight there um, yeah let me wrap up the last two days uh, after we departed from Krakow first day we made around 750 kilometers because uh, we wanted to pass those places quickly and the rain was not actually making it better and also there is a lot of wind uh, like more than 30 kilometers per hour and on coming from the side so it's not making it comfortable I think we have 80 kilometers or more to go and we will see around I think it will be a nice uh, place to hang around because we also wait a cargo our studs are coming from Italy to Helsinki but they are still on the road I mean there is no update on the shipment so we want to be around here in a place that we can easily reach to Helsinki uh, so that we can pick the cargo before weekend but in general I think uh, we are not doing uh, bad bikes are doing really good tires are really good 
temperature is wandering around 5-6 degrees. I'm glad that we installed those heated grips <laughs> and the hand mops. So our hands are dry. We are dry and happy. Yeah, see you soon. After a quick research, we found this nice pizzeria and we ordered two large pizzas. We are really hungry. And here we have a free salad bar. This is cabbage as usual. Today was windier, wetter and colder than yesterday, but we managed to arrive at our planned destination, Parnu, Estonia. And um, we found an amazing accommodation. Why it's amazing? Because first of all, it's in our budget. It has a parking space for our motorcycles. And last but not least, it has a sauna in the room.
We arrived to Tallinn. Now sightseeing. We parked our motorcycles to the hotel's garden. They are safe. Our room is again very nice. Weather is very good. It's not snowing and I think it's two degrees, right? Yeah. So everything is perfect. We have just one problem. We are hungry. <laughs> yes, and thirsty for beer. <laughs> Vidalar kırılmamış en azından. O da güzel. Tamir ederiz bunu Cenk. Tamam. Look! What we bought? A bucket. So this is our solution to our problem, which is we don't have a windshield anymore. We did this trick before in the Alaska trip. Yeah. Which uh, again, actually you didn't break it. It, it was because of me. Uh, but it, it, I made a bad decision, and Tuche followed me, <laughs> and the highway barrier uh, just closed on top of the windshield, and it was broken. So we fixed it with a Home Depot bucket. Uh, in the United States, and it it became like a mark for. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody was uh, seeing us. us. Yeah, they were bucket. spotting and they were recognizing us from a distance. So right now, what we have, not a Home Depot <laughs> bucket, but a caution, wet floor bucket, which which really makes sense. It really, yes. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, you know, it's wet, slippery. Yay! <laughs> 
at Chimba's new style <laughs> she's very beautiful now <laughs> so today is our last day in Tallinn and we are heading to Finland Helsinki we have booked our ferry at 12 o'clock so now we are packing Control. Crash is 